Bitch, I'm swaggy, I'm the motherfucking savage. Always taking what I want, and I know that they can't spend it. Subscribe to my channel so you can get to know me. Hit the bell, show me love, so you can see some more heat. Bitch, I'm swaggy, I'm the motherfucking savage. What is up, savages? Yes, what is up, savages? It's your girl, Queen Savage, and I am back with another Slay Time video in today's video we're going to be working with asteria hair and i did something a little bit different this time instead of doing the long 26 28 30 inch bust downs that i love to do because y'all know i love long hair i wanted to try a bob like a wavy grown and sexy type of a bob and so they sent me this gorgeous 14 inch body wave 13 by 4 frontal bob the density on this hair is 180 percent and just first of all look at this lace y'all know i love me a good strong lace it ain't going nowhere but i was so excited for this because it's just different like something different is what i've been craving lately Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna start by tinting my lace. Now to tint my lace, I just use foundation. Um, I don't really use that expensive lace tinting mousse when foundation do the same thing, it really does. So just get you a, like a cheap bottle of foundation and just rub it on there and it do the exact same thing as the expensive lace tinting mousse and you really save like 20 or $30. And now I'm just moving all of my baby hairs out of the way so that I can get ready to cut my lace. Now, what I loved the most about this lace was that it was long and wide, which left a lot of room for error. Some wigs you get, they barely have any lace up there. And so you really cannot make no mistakes. But with this wig, you can cut and cut and cut some more until you feel like you done did it right, baby. That's what I love about a thick lace and the lace was strong like i was pulling it every which way and it wasn't even feeling like it was gonna rip or anything so shout out to them for that strong lace now i'm just using my wax stick to just make my hair stick down flat because you want it to lay flat you don't want it to look like a helmet um after i use my wax stick i go in with my tweezers to kind of just define my part a little bit more just to make it look like it's a real part this step right here is becoming my favorite step uh hot combing it just to see how flat you can get that wig to lay and baby this girl got flat like i'm talking about she got flat and she would stood the test of heat so Definitely going to rate the hair quality a 10 just because she withstood the test of heat. Um, next, what I'm doing is I'm just about to lay me a couple of baby hairs just to make her look a little more glam. And now I'm just throwing me a few wand curls up in there just to define the wave a little bit more. Just to give it that look that I'm going for. And the look that I'm going for is that sexy, wavy, grown and sexy type of look. That little, y'all know that little bob that Brandy used to wear back in the day. That's the look that I'm going for. And this is my 
final look i love it the only thing that i would change is i would cut a few layers into it but i'm not really that advanced yet so i ain't want to mess it up so i said i'm not gonna cut the layers but next time i will try to cut the layers um thank you so much to asteria hair for working with me uh the wig was great 10 out of 10 would recommend i will link everything about asteria hair in the description box below so you guys can go check them out um i love y'all thank y'all for rocking with me and always supporting me my savages keeping it real keeping it drill keeping it all the way there um yeah i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my very next video Mwah. bye savages